Patty, please show us Ms. Brown's most recent chest x-ray. This x-ray was taken yesterday at 3 p.m. Dr. Chavez read the film. So Ms. Brown is in hospital, she's had pneumonia, but she's making good progress. And I can show her this x-ray, explain the improvement, and say it looks like things are going pretty well. And then I'll ask Patty to help us again, and I'll say, Patty, please show us Ms. Brown's lab results. Here they are. These are current as of 9 a.m. And so again, I will say to the patient, your labs are greatly improved. We really think you're headed towards being able to discharge from the hospital in the next couple of days. And I'll ask Patty to help us out with that by saying, Patty, please notify Debbie in discharge planning. I've sent Debbie a text message. I also see that she's available this afternoon after four. According to Ms. Brown's healthcare personal preference directive, her husband usually visits in the late afternoon. And Ms. Brown wants her husband and sister to help with the discharge plan. I'll schedule a family conference at 4.30 p.m. Nancy's sister can join by video conference from her office. So you can see from the patient experience perspective, that's very customized for me and for my family. And family training and family planning is often a place that's very complicated and where you lose time. And I also know that we'll need to send Ms. Brown home with some medications. So I'm going to suggest that we send her home with Cithromax, 250 milligrams QD. And I'm going to say to Patty, we really should confirm that prescription with um, Ms. Brown's physician. And so I said, Patty, please send this order to Dr. Smith's office. Let me check her medication history. Ms. Brown's EHR says she's allergic to Zithromax. It's recommending Lovaquin, 750 milligrams, once daily for seven days. I'll send that order to Dr. Smith for approval. Now, in the earlier tour, we talked about this ubiquitous challenge around medication errors. And it's a very high cost impact both for individual hospitals and the country. So the beauty of avatars is clinical protocols and clinical business rules can be programmed in. They're not going to forget those. They won't ignore them or overlook them. And it brought a prompt to my attention and even suggested the uh, alternative medication and the right dosage. And then Patty can take uh, care of the electronic prescription that goes to Dr. Smith's office for approval. So that's one scenario.